Also right now, a local parenting expert says families should stop posting photos of their children on Facebook. For some of you, it may sound extreme, but one Plano family's strange experience may convince you to pause before you post. CBS 11's J.D. Miles has their story. This one. Here, I'll help you untangle it. With two young daughters and an infant son, Nicole Galovich shares a lot of what she's learned as a mom. Well, I mean, I, I post photos on my personal, you know, Facebook page all the time, and I just kind of shared their day-to-day -day life things. But the Plano mother and blogger couldn't believe her eyes when a photo of four-year-old Macy appeared on the profile of someone she's never heard of in Arizona. Like, it was weird. It was really weird, you know, seeing somebody else's name underneath and there's her, you know, picture. The person who posted the child's pic claimed to work at a tattoo parlor in Glendale, where no one returned our calls. Galovich says she had no idea who the person who posted the photo is, or even the stranger who somehow found her on Facebook to inform her about it. Then it really got my guard up as far as, okay, who is this contacting me? Right. Messages from the profile of Rain Moretti told Galovich that someone using the name Rain Monroe was passing off Macy as her own daughter, who supposedly drowned. I mean, obviously I was worried that he was potentially a pedophile or that he was trying to get information from me about, you know, where we lived and things like that. Galovich complained to Facebook, which removed both profiles involved. There must be a reason that the world's wealthiest people do not show pictures of the kids. Harry Harrison is a Dallas author of more than a dozen parenting books. He thinks parents should not be posting any photos of kids on social media. Oh, people can take those pics and they can blackmail you. They can look at your child and send you notes about they know where you live and they're coming to get them. Galovich is still left to wonder why her child was chosen and whether those behind the photo hacking are gone for good. In Plano, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D., we appreciate it. Thank you.